Well, it's Bill here, and uh, for fans that want the Toronto Maple Leaf things, I will get back to that. I'm telling you why I haven't put up a video lately, but this happens to be the start of the World Championships of Darts, and I am going to give you my predictions uh, for today's games, and also a little bit of what I think is going to happen in the tournament. Cheers. <laughs> It's that time of year, darts, Christmas time. That means world championship. And today I'm in Curtis and we're expecting a snowmageddon. So good time to start up the darts and the darts will start tonight. Uh, here's my thoughts on the 2023 world championship overall. I'm going to give you my picks. I'm going to give you some betting things that I've been doing, some things I found some value in. And then I'll be giving my predictions as we go through the week. But just overall the tournament as we get into it. Uh, I've heard a lot of commentators about it being wide open. I don't see that. I don't see it being wide open. I think last year it was wide open. The year before, I would even suggest it was even probably even more wide open. If you take a look at the draws, you know, if I take a look at the top three players, uh, MVG, great form. Gerwin Price, I'm looking at his bracket. I, I don't see where he gets a challenge until the quarterfinal. I just don't see it. Uh, bracket two has got some really great players in there. But Michael Smith, fine form. Luke Humphreys. Those are the players I expect to get through. I think you take a look at maybe Peter Wright's bracket, and there's certainly some thoughts that could go into there about maybe a wide open piece. Uh, you've got Josh Rock in that uh, in that particular bracket, who's been playing well, although I worry about Josh Rock. There's a player that just came back called Corey Cadby, who when, won some tournaments, got to a final of the UK Open, and now he's going back to qualifying. Uh, I worry about Josh Rock. He's getting way too much hype. He's a great dart player. He's shown that, but don't overhype this guy. Please, let him play darts. Stop the nonsense about hyping him up. I have a feeling this is going to go bad, but he's in this section of the draw. You got Peter Wright, who obviously had to pull out of the World or the Players' Championship Series and then you know basically pulled himself out of the Grand Slam in the last one. His wife got sick and was in the hospital. I don't know how much practice he's got. You have no idea how many darts he has. There's a potential for him to lose today. I have no idea. No one, no one, no one knows what his form is, um, and he's probably going to get a well. He's going to get a professional player in round two. Uh, so uh, I, I, you don't know. And if that if he loses, that opens up that particular part of the draw. Uh, and then I'll go through my picks as to who I think through. And then the the quarter four's got some some really intriguing stuff in there, of course. But I think MVG's just been dominant. I do, He's going to get Neil Zonneveld or Louis Williams. And he's going to get Jeff Smith, I think, or Menser Sulevich or Mike DeDecker. Possibly a Dirk Van Dyneboot and Ross Smith might pot potential challenge. And then potentially, you know, Gary Anderson, Rob Cross, Chris Dolby. But I don't see, it's not wide open. So I'm looking at, a for me and my predictions, <clears throat> I've got a Price Humphreys uh, semifinal. And it could easily be a Price Smith final. I just can't choose between Smith and Humphreys right now. Uh, and then I've got an Aspinall, who I think will get through on on the quarter three with Peter Wright, and MVG, which sets up an MVG probably Price final. That's not open to me. But anyways, um, again, things that are you think about going in. Uh, Wright, Peter Wright, no idea what you're going to get out of him. He could show up and throw 110, and all of a sudden he's the one who gets through the quarter. Uh, he could show up and throw 70. I, you have no idea what's going to happen with Peter Wright. So he's a really big question mark. And then I, I'm just looking at all the seeds with form and, you know, okay, Josh Rock gets Cowan Ritz, but then I think he gets Nathan Aspinall. Um, you know, I'm really, really excited. So one thing I'll take back, being a North American, really excited. First of all, Jeff Smith. That was the fact he got through the world qualifier. He's got a chance to keep his tour card. I think that's fantastic. He's going to have to beat Mike Dedecker to do it, in my personal opinion, with everyone that's below. But at least he has a chance to get that tour card. Uh, one crazy other stat is Keegan Brown won a Players' Championship. He won a ranked tournament this year, and I think he's done. So that's crazy. You win a ranked tournament in the same year that you lose your tour card. I think that'll be some kind of crazy answer that's going to be happening on a on a a trivia quiz uh, later on 
Uh, so let me go through again. Uh, again, for oh, another one. Sorry, North American. Matt Campbell, Danny Baggish. What a game. Why do they play playing each other? But I like Matt Campbell a lot in this game. And I like that Matt Campbell gets Mervyn King in the second round or the next round. I think Matt Campbell's got a chance to make a run because after that he would get either a Rob Cross, Scott Williams, or Ryan Joyce. Matt Campbell, I think, is the player on the rise in North American darts, and it's going to be good to see. Anyways, whoever Danny Baggish or Matt Campbell win, they've got a good opportunity to beat Mervyn King as the seed. So let me go through the games today. Uh, first of all, first game of the tournament, your world championship's going to start, and you get Mickey Mansell. Oh, dear. So the... From my understanding, North American time, the, the World Championship is going to start at 2. It might take Mickey Mansell to about 3 o'clock to fire his three, first three darts. <sighs> just, that is just, and it's the, it's the you know, the minute you saw, because it had to be that way, right? Peter Wright being the championship has to play on the first day. So Peter Wright's going to play the winner of Mickey Mansell, Ben Robb. So you have to have Mickey Mansell on that first day. There's nothing you can do. It's the way the draw happened. But then they lined up Keenberry, <laughs> uh, Nathan Rafferty, and J Jermaine Watamita, who are the three fastest players made, like up there in terms of how fast they play, the type of speed that they play. And I don't know a lot about Grant Sampson other than he was a qualifier from South Africa. He beat Devin Peterson. I, I don't know how fast he plays, but you could see what happened. The minute Mickey Mansell was there, PDC said, okay, give us your three fastest players. Let's make sure they're playing each other. So this game might end at 3.30. Uh, the first game might end, you know, an hour and a half after it starts. But the next two games might be a half hour each. And then you get into the last game, which would be right in, which I think will be right in Mansell. But that's going to be a slow one too. So <laughs> good luck getting off the air by 7 o'clock because you got the Mickey Mansell factor. Uh, 7 o'clock my our time, which would be midnight, I guess, UK time. But let's get into the games for today. And again, what I'm going to do is give you the games today. If I'm going to bet on the games today, which I do have a bet today. Um, we'll see how I do through the games. When I come on tomorrow, I'll give you, or I'll come on probably later tonight, I'll give you a little review of the games that uh, were played today, plus give you the predictions for tomorrow and any bets that I might do. This is a challenging, this will be the only day where I won't have every single matchup to find because I have no idea who Peter Wright's going to play, whether it's going to be Mickey Mansell or Ben Robb. I've got a guess, so I'm just going to go along with that guess and keep that going. So the first game up, Mickey Mansell, Ben Robb. Mansell, slower than molasses, but look at his stats. Can't argue them. He nearly hits a 140 per leg. He's a good scorer. His doubles have been okay. He's usually a better double hitter, to be honest with you, uh, if you go back to his past stats. But his scoring is really good. <clears throat> ben Robb, uh, New Zealand. He's been in a couple of World um, Series events. Decent player. Um, I've seen him before, I think, in the World Championship. Or I've seen him before in other tournaments. He's, he's not a bad player. He's. I just think Mickey Mansell's just got too much. And I think there's no way you're not going to be affected by Mickey Mansell's speed. There's just no way you cannot be. Uh, I saw one of the, just a, on another piece, I saw Danny Lauby playing Wesley Plazer in the WDF final, and I saw exactly what Wesley Plazer did, which was disgusting. He slowed it down to a crawl. It was, I don't know if the ref has any ability to affect this, but that was, dis like, if you're Wesley Plazer, that's disgusting. I know you won, but that's disgusting. We, you could see Lauby was affected by it. You could see he was reacting back on the stage. Mansell's going to do the exact same thing to Ben Robb. The exact same thing. And Ben Robb, I don't know if it's going to affect him. I, I think it will. I don't see how you're not affected by Mansell's speed. And Mansell's not a bad player. It's not like Mansell's a slow player and doesn't fire in good scores. He fires in good scores. So I like to see you. So in this one, I think it's going to be a long game. As I said, I think it's going to go an hour and a half. And that's because it's going to go five sets. But I'm going to take Mansell to win this one, 3-2. The next game up, uh, Keen Berry against uh, Grant Sampson. Again, Keen Berry faster he's just fast and I think this game will go quick I don't know enough about Grant Sampson to be able to give you any kind of thing about how he plays I've never even seen a game from Grant Sampson but uh, I've seen Keen Berry play he's pretty consistent had a good run UK Open not a bad run at the Players Championships lately uh, so I'm going to take Keen Berry to win this one 3 nothing. the next game up uh, Jermaine Watamita machine gun against Rafferty both pretty quick players uh, this game will be 
compared to the first game, this is going to be a beauty to watch. I think you've got some players that are good. One thing you'll notice is you look at the stats, there's nothing to choose between them when it comes to doubles, Rafferty and Wadamina, nothing to choose between the doubles. Rafferty's the better scorer. So I'm going to go with that, and I'm going to pick Rafferty to win this one. Uh, 3-1, and I also like his betting line, so we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, and then, so what I have is a Peter Wright, Mickey Mansell last round. You know, uh, uh, same thing. I have no idea what to expect out of Wright, so. <laughs> Where's my dice? There would be a really great price for either Mansell or Rob on Wright, and you might want to take a look at it. Obviously, there's no betting line right now because they don't know who it's going to be. Uh, I just think, when's the last time a world championship lost? I think John Part might have been the first one, or in the first round, losing. Uh, there's definitely an opportunity here. So when I'm picking right, I'm not picking right because I'm saying, oh, I think he's a great... Like, right, if right shows up, if, if half of right shows up, he wins. But you don't know what to expect, especially with all that. Like, it's not it's not just like she went to the hospital for something to do. She's, there's serious health concerns with his wife. It's got to be weighing on his mind. I'm still going to take Wright to win this. I'm going to have it over Mansell. The one thing, Wright will be able to handle Mansell's speed. He'll be able to deal with it. He's, he's veteran. He'll he'll know what Mansell's doing. He's probably played Mansell a, a billion times. So you know, he's going to know what to expect. If he plays Ben Robb, I don't know how many times that they've actually had a game. They might not have ever played a game. I'm sure he knows who he is because of the World Series uh, uh, finals. But... Yeah, I just like Peter Wright to win this one three one. So, and then, so so my picks are Mansell to beat Rob three two, Barry to beat Sampson three nothing, Rafferty beat Watamina three one, and then Wright to beat Mansell three one. Let's get into the bets. Bets for today. I've got a just two team parlay. I really I'm taking Mansell over Rob. I just again I go with the person who scores a lot and slows the game down. I think will affect Rob. I could not believe Nathan Rafferty's price over Watamina. They're very similar. You go into the stats, they're very similar players. And that's why I'm taking this. This is, I was expecting something like plus 10, 110, plus 120. I got a plus 155. Please, I'll take that. I'll nap that right out of your hand. So my two-team parlay of Rafferty and Mansell pays plus 303. So thank you. I'm going to take that match. Now, the other thing too is I went through all of the list and I put together an eight-team parlay. And I put $5 on it. It's going to return me $90. Now, again, I didn't put a lot of money on it because I'm just going crazy with my 18 parlay. But I went through games that are really, like, I didn't take any of the games that were, you know, minus 1,400. I'm not going to take those games. But a game I thought there was some good value in. So let me give you that pick uh, up front. I've got uh, Adrian Lewis um, to beat uh, Daniel Larson. Again, Adrian Lewis... I don't think he's the greatest player. I think he's really, really overhyped, but he's getting minus 400 over Daniel Larson. Okay. I think Daniel Larson went the whole last year without... I know he's played better this year, but he nearly didn't get a win on the whole PDC circuit when he had a tour card. Uh, Ryan Meikle over Lisa Ashton. Look, um, getting minus 1450. Ryan Meikle... Lisa Ashton has shown... I don't mean... She just She doesn't win. Ryan Meikle's a, again, a slower player, but he's a, you know, stats-wise, he's had a pretty decent year, a final in a European or semi-final European. He's played well. So I'll take that, Ryan Meikle. Raymond Smith, I'm getting plus 100 Raymond Smith over Carl Sedlicek. I get it. Carl Sedlicek's not a bad player. He is a pretty decent player. Raymond Smith last year was dynamite, and I watched him in the Modus Online. That guy's dynamite. Plus 100? Please, I'll take that. Raymond Smith is the next pick. I like Matt Campbell over Danny Baggish. I think he's the better player. I don't really... The odds aren't bad. When you take a look at the odds that you can get, it's uh, minus... Sorry, let me get it. Minus 225. But I just think Matt Campbell's the better player than Danny Baggish. So I'll take that. Matt Campbell. Uh, Gert Nench has minus 175 over Leonard Gates. Leonard Gates can't count. The man can't count. He's going to screw up because he can't count. Nenches is a pretty decent player uh, with some pretty good stats. Good score. Uh, young guy, I get all that. Uh, but I'll, if you can't count, wait, I mean, he, he makes Jose D'Souza look like a mathematician. He look, I could not believe, like, people are a lot, like, it's, that's something you need to address, man. <laughs> 
I think he tried to take out 72 with uh, triple 18, double 16 or something. Count, man. Anyways, I'll take the 175. Minus 175 for that? Yes, please. William O'Connor getting minus 225 over Bo Greaves. I get it. Bo is exciting, uh, talented. I can't wait to watch the game. But people are forgetting that William O'Connor is a damn decent operator. Now, will he be affected by the crowd? I've seen him affected by the crowd in Germany before. Will the crowd be on him? Absolutely. I just think you... I watched Bo Greaves in the WDF final. I, I didn't see anything that I was like, wow. I mean, her averages are in the in low 90s. Can she beat William O'Connor? I think so. She could. But William O'Connor's got to play a C game, and she's got to play her A game. I like William O'Connor in this one, especially with those odds, minus 225. I think they're over-exaggerated because of the, the the bow hype. So I'll take that. Cameron Menzies over Diego Portela. The only reason Diego Portela is in the World Championship every year is because he's from Brazil. Enough said. Cameron Menzies is a better player. Uh, I'll take that, minus 400. And then I like Jim Williams over Sebastian Balaki. Uh, again, young kid, Sebastian. And he's got the opportunity to win. But Jim Williams, if you take a look at his stats this year, won a ranking tournament. And his stats are out of this world. It's looking, how are you losing? So I like Jim Williams there. Those eight will pay me, I think it's plus 1300 or something. So it comes out to a $5 bet, gives you $90. Hope you enjoy the bets. Hope you enjoy the darts. So I'll be back later today. And for our Lee fans, I will have my video up. I'm a little bit concerned if I put a Lee, they, they haven't lost in whatever game. So I've been watching the games. Unfortunately, I've had to watch a lot of games after the fact. Uh, and so I haven't been able to do the videos right away, but uh, uh, I'm hoping to get back doing that as well. All right, cheers. Bye.